Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing well. So today I am going to discuss the question answer of the history NCERT CBSC chapter 1 for class 6 that is what, where, how and when. So before start our discussion I want to tell you that there are lots of books available in the market for the question and answer but there are no substitute of your textbook. So read your textbook very carefully each line can be your questions because in the new education policy people want to judge your concept so please make sure you read your textbook very carefully check your spelling and make your own notes and practice a lot and let's start with the question answer discussion of what, where, how, and when. See, what is in the first chapter you want to get? In the first chapter, if you scroll down, you will get, what can we know about the past? See, from you can get a very short answer type question from the section. That's, what can we know about the past? So you can learn this, you can uh, get a MCQs, you can get a one marks question from this. Like there, there are several things we can find out, what people ate, the kinds of clothes, etc. And where did people live? In this section, you will get the question that is, how did the people living along the banks of Narmada river collected their foods? See, here you have the that the people lived along the banks of the rivers were skilled gatherers. Like, so this is the questions you get from the first chapter. It's a short answer type questions or you can get it in very short answer type question also. That is how did the people living along the banks of Narmada river collected their foods and your answer will be this that people have lived along the banks of this river for several hundred thousand years some of the earliest people who lived there here were skilled gatherers that is people who gathered their foods so you can get a one uh, very short answer type question that is who is gatherers so that is the answer the people who gathered their food so question inside the questions so who is gatherers or who are the gatherers and secondly they know about the first wealth of plants in the surrounding forests and collected roots, fruits and other forest produce for their food. So they also hunted animals. So this is your answer for the question. Don't worry I will upload all the question at the end. So first learn your questions. See each line have questions. So, Suleiman and Kithar Hills, you can get the and question that is the location of Suleiman and Kithar. You can give a, uh, you know, a teacher can give you the map and it can told you that find out the Suleiman and Kithar Hills. So, make sure you know the direction that is in the portal line that is Suleiman and Kithar Hills to the northwest and where the Garo Hills are located in the northeast. Make sure you know this. And it is very important. Picture, if it can get it a picture test question or uh, like of a MCQs or very short answer type questions from these sections. Next, come to the page that is here. See, from here. You can get the very important questions that is what is tributaries. Sometimes we ignore the things that is the tributaries. What is the tributaries? So here you get a very short answer type question that is what is tributaries? Tributaries are the smaller rivers that flows into a larger river. Always gives an example that is shown is the tributaries of the river Ganga. So make sure it will help you for your MCQ also as well as a very short answer type questions. So don't ignore what is tributaries. 
and the year history is based on the year so here is uh, year is very important for your mcq practice the year try to remember memorize all the years see you can get this section also that is what is continents what is the subcontinents you can get a questions from this that is what is subcontinent sometimes we ignore the small thing that is is history you can get a questions like what is subcontinent what is continent but you can get it's it's a very important question so read this section also that is south asia is often called a subcontinent so why south asia is called a subcontinent so remember this because subcontinent or what do you mean by subcontinent the subcontinent is the continent of the portions it's a smaller than a continent and other separated from the rest of asia as by sea hills mountains so make sure you learn this section also you can get a questions from here through and the next part is that this section that is magadha ganga was known as magadha now land lying in the state of bihar magadha is a very famous historical importance magadha has so make sure you know it's a very important for your mcq underline that it refers to the south of the ganga the area along the river to the south of the ganga was known as magadha so it, you can get a very short answer type questions and now always write the section that is now lying in the state of bihar don't forget to write it or if you get a two marks question then you have to write that it's a ruler were very powerful set up a large kingdoms and kingdoms were set up in the other parts of the country as well or if you get a simple questions like this what do you mean by magadha then write it this the area in ancient times the area along this river to the south of the ganga was known as magadha now lying in the state of bihar and its rulers were very powerful and set up a large kingdom and kingdoms were set up in the other parts of the country as well it is your complete answer for magadha and now for the next section you can see what is there it's a story like section but before that see come to the last line of this paragraph that is all these lead to the sharing of ideas between people mark this line underline this line or highlight this line it's a very important line and the long answer type questions is is this that is you can get the questions that is what has led to vast sharing of ideas between people see what does led to the vast sharing of ideas between people you can get the exact line as a questions only in the question form so your answer is this paragraph why the people traveled and how the sharing of ideas happened so you have to write this entire paragraph for this answer and next is the very why do people travel nowadays and why was it difficult for people and why it is difficult for people to travel and how did they overcome this this is the paragraph this is the paragraph for this that is why do people travel nowadays and what is what is the difficulties to travel from one place to another place okay now for the next sections here from where you get the word india it's a another very short answer type important short answer type question that is the word india comes from the indus al sindhu in sanskrit underline this 
and indus is a very important river so make sure you know and here you can get a questions that is what is bharata you will surprise to the what is bharata see here is the answer it's a very short answer type questions the name bharata was used for a group of people who lived in the northwest and who are mentioned in the rig veda again you get a questions what is rig veda uh, in chapter 4 you will get the rig veda but here you can get a short answer type questions very short answer type questions that is what is rig veda rig veda is the earliest composition in sanskrit dated about 3500 years ago later it was used for the country so from this we know what is bharata what is rig veda make sure you uh, practice all these things okay now finding out about the past it's a very common thing you know that's a very common questions comes to your mind what is manuscript and what is the manuscript you will get your answer here what is manuscript always mention that the manu meaning hand it comes from the latin word it will get a uh, it will improve your answer so mention this line and these were usually written on the palm leaf a specially prepared bark of a tree known as the birch which grows in the himalayas so this is the this is definitions of manuscript so manuscript is here okay. and you can read this section also and there are some disadvantages of the manuscript here you can get that why manuscripts were eaten away by insects some were destroyed but many have survived and preserved you can get a picture based questions also you can give the above pictures and uh, the teacher will ask you what is this this is manuscript or this is inscriptions and uh, why this is not preserved or why this is Uh, what is the disadvantages of these things so you have to carefully observe that is images also that is what is manuscript and what is inscriptions so carefully observe the images also now see what is here see manuscripts often preserved in temples and monasteries underline these sections it's important for the uh, mcqs and is a religious in the important things for religious beliefs and practices so it is also important next come is inscriptions again what is inscriptions and what this is disadvantages and advantages all of these things are here in this sections you will get and read these sections also and after this section what you will get you will get a major differences that is what is the difference of the manuscripts and inscription you can get all the differences or make your own differences by this through this paragraph and if you are unable to get the differences write it in the comment box i will try to upload it see again it's a important question that is can you think of the advantages of writing on a hard surface and what could have been the difficulties you can get a straight away questions from this yes this is the thing again that is what is archaeologist or what are who are archaeologists sorry who are archaeologists you will get the answers is who are archaeologists and what they do see here is your answer what who are archaeologists those who study these objects like uh, the things and were made and used in the past are called archaeologists and what they do they study the remains of buildings made of stone and brick paintings and sculpture they also explore and excavate to find tools weapons of uh, these things made of stone others bone baked clay or metal objects that are made of hard imperishable substances usually survive for a long time so who are archaeologists and 
what they do this is your answer this paragraph is your answer next see here in in the small section in small paragraph you will get another questions that is why archaeologists search for bones of animal birds and fish this paragraph is for that why archaeologists search for that okay then you get the questions that is different define historians so underline these sections historians that is our scholars who study the past often use the word source to refer to the information found from the manuscripts inscriptions and archaeology once sources are found learning about the past becomes an adventure as we reconstruct it bit by bit so historians and archaeologists are like detectives who use all these sources like clues to find out about our past from here you get the definition of historian here you get the definition of source so what is the source source is the refer source is the information found from manuscript inscriptions and archaeology once source are found learning about the past becomes an adventure it is your answer for the source what is source and how it helps it is your answer or if you get simple source it is also you have to write this lines and for who are you historians historians are the scholars who study the past and use source you have to write this and again underline this section this line that is historians and archaeologists are like detectives who use all these sources like clues to find out about our past underline this historians and archaeologists are like detectives so you can get a question do you think historians and archaeologists are like detective or what do you think they are really detective so this is your answer this is your answer so underline this very carefully and now did you notice the title of the book our past so past in plural to draw attentions so what we learned from the past here is the answer what we learned from the past past and what is the different groups of peoples at least three examples right you have to write three examples uh, and the difference and presence of three categories of people are here so you have to read this question was uploaded there that is what are the three types of differences inferred from past when we study present this is the paragraph you have to mention the andaman nicobar islands uh, uh, like this fishing hunting collecting about the kings about the other common people all these things is the answer of that question and the date you all know the bc ad and all so you have to know this is <laughs> before christ you have to write the Uh, you know it's a abbreviation form so you have to write the full form always be careful you have to write it in the capital the first letter of this two is the capital so practice this this is very important again and now come here what do you mean by ad what is the meaning of anno domini and the bce ce practice this Like to try to write the full form and always mention the that the first letter is capital. Remember that. C. What is decipherment? Decipherment is another important questions. So, what is the decipherment? Scholar understand that can be done through the process known as decipherment. So, understanding of the inscriptions is called the through the process is known as the. Decipherment. You can get this picture also, and you can get the questions. That is, 
what do you think and how we learn this language so answer is the same on how do we learn what is inscribed here that means the process of decipherment here is the thing you have to learn this okay see here in this space one of the most famous stories of decipherment comes from egypt a country in north america where the kings and queens of a family 500 5000 years ago again rosetta rosetta you get a questions that is what were the languages and script written on stone found in rosetta so it's a important thing underline rosetta where is rosetta rosetta is a town on the north coast of egypt you can get a, a mcq on that the location of rosetta and the languages that is greek and two forms of egyptian this is which content inscription in three different languages and you can ask that what these three languages right then they place the greek and egyptian side by side so learn this as i always told you read carefully practice all the questions and along with your exercise questions make sure you practice all the questions we discuss i will upload some questions you can see i will upload here all the questions we discussed and all the important questions almost i will share here with you take a screenshot make your own notes see take a screenshot make your own notes and if you have any doubts in any questions please write in the comment box i will try to solve your doubts and if you think uh, my videos are useful to you please like and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much and practice